G'day everybody, Cam here from the fish room. Um, today's topic is a little bit morbid. Uh, I don't want to be jumping up and down about it. But we're talking about uh, fish dying or dead fish and what we meant is well, what we can do with them once they have uh, lost their life. So it's not an exciting video, it's just something uh, I've been toying with for a little while. It might be a little controversial and yeah, we'll, we'll sort of see how we go. But last night I had one of my macaw cichlids die on me. I went to bed and he was absolutely fine. I got up in the morning and had a massive, massive wound right on the top of his head. He'd obviously been attacked and been absolutely smashed overnight. To be fair, it serves a little bright right. He was the absolute tank bully and he got his comeuppance. But the fact of the matter is I lost a fish last night. Uh, one that I really liked. So I thought as good a time as any to do a video about, you know, what you can do with your dead fish once you've got them. Um, so that's kind of what we're talking about today. So this topic was actually spurred on from a couple of months ago. Uh, for those that have seen this uh, display aquarium before, I had a couple of waru in here. And I lost them in a very short period of time to a disease. Uh, they both died within three days of each other. Just them. And there was no, um, no new fish introduced or anything like that. Uh, they just got fat-lipped. Um, and they were gone within three days of each other. So I was really disappointed. I was absolutely in love with those fish. They were my favourite fish that I currently owned. I absolutely loved watching them swim around. And uh, they were just beautiful fish. So um, I was pretty upset. At that time they were quite big fish and uh, so what I decided to do with them is is uh, buy a couple of fruit trees and plant them underneath it so there was one of my warus under the Fijoa tree there and there is another one under this lemonade tree so my thought behind that was these guys are giving me a lot of joy in the time that I had them so uh, why not let them replenish the earth and replenish you know the soil and the plants that are going to grow up with them and uh, let them continue to keep giving um, I didn't want to just throw them in the bin because I thought that was a little bit rough how beautiful they were so one of them is under my lemonade tree which is going really well it's going to be planted for a couple of months and the other one is under this video tree here which is also doing fairly well so I thank the waru for that also got a pretty sweet beehive that I just thought I'd take a video of not mine we just hire it but it's really cool and I love watching them and the smell of the honey is absolutely phenomenal anyway back to the story so it's not the first time that I've lost a fish and decided to plant it under a tree my olive tree uh, underneath it has my sunshine pleco and he was a really big pleco he was about 30 odd centimeters he was massive I went away uh, with my family for a bit of a holiday uh, we were away for four days and I came back and he was dead in the aquarium which really upset me so again I thought well you've given me so much joy and pleasure when I've had you you can give me some more with um with my olive tree so it's done really well underneath here so when I have big fish that I really really love um, I would like giving them a bit of respect and planting them under trees or getting trees and planting them at the same time as you've just seen with the fruit trees and stuff like that that I've got around my yard. Uh, the macaw that I had today, um, I actually fed to my cat, believe it or not. It's not the first time I've fed a fish that's died to my cat. I've fed a few African cichlids to her. Um, I only ever do this if I know that the animal hasn't died of any sort of disease or anything toxic like that. So I know that my macaw today got a hiding overnight. So again, I feel that is uh, kind of keeping the food chain alive, keeping nature at its place and everything else like that. Um, I'd hate to see a big fish like that just get thrown in the bin and, and end up in a landfill. Um, so giving her, or him sorry, to my cat I thought was a really good way of just sort of continuing life on. The cat will do what the cat does with it and I'm just continuing. When I lose the odd smaller fish, um, or ones that I don't really quite have that affinity to, I tend to just throw them in the rubbish bin. Um, I chuck them in a Ziploc bag and just put them in a bin. Uh, it doesn't sound anywhere near as appealing to me as, um, you know, being planted under a beautiful tree or anything like that. But uh, there's not much point, I don't think, in putting little fish like this. 
under a tree it just seems kind of pointless um, so your little fish I just tend to put in a bag and, and throw them out uh, what I don't do with fish whether they be dead or alive is flushing down the toilet I think that is quite a bad idea particularly when fish are alive I think that's horrible the amount of people that flush them but that is a different topic for a different different day um, yeah, so I, I never flush them, I think putting them in uh, rubbish is a far better option, albeit a plastic bag is not biodegradable, I just feel that uh, there's no chance of any diseases being passed on if there was any disease being flushed down the toilet, whether that water may go, whether it's treated or not, um, if there was any disease that's killed the fish, there's no chance of that cross-contaminating, so it always goes in a plastic bag and doesn't get put in the toilet. Uh, yeah, so there we have it, like I said it was a bit of a polarising and we had topic to do a video on but I know having to deal with dead fish is something that all aquarium keepers have to deal with whether we like it or not uh, at some point or another our pets are going to die personally I like trying to give back as much as I can um, particularly for the fish that have really touched me like I said the waru were just phenomenal fish so that's why they ended up under a couple of trees and the um, the sunshine pleco I had is you know pretty much the same it was a phenomenal fish so um, yeah, I like to try and give back as much as I can and as for the macaw that ended up with the cat again i still feel like that's giving back it's sustaining life for another creature uh albeit it's not that pleasant but at the end of the day fish are also caught and eaten by human beings and so it is what it is and it's just part of the food chain so um if it's big enough and i don't have that kind of pull or, or love for lack of a better word for my fish um, I'm quite happy to feed it to the cat and if they're smaller fish they just get put in a plastic bag and chucked in a rubbish bin so um, that's what I do with fish when they die obviously you wanting to keep your fish as long as possible and not have them die but it is inevitable so that's what it is um, yeah subscribe share like got any questions or what you got to do um, I don't sort of feel like joyfully doing all that kind of crap today so um, I'll leave it at that I'll mourn the loss of a fish today and have a good one guys catch you later